in today's video we're going to be making something really interesting it's so we're going to be building this sticky scroll effect right here on frema uh, so first i have my um, canvas set up already and i have it set to 1440 which is like my favorite breakpoint that i like to work with and first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to set stack i'm going to turn on stack for my desktop frame so we can have it you know have content stack on top of each other uh, so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a frame we're just going to draw my frame right here i'm going to set this to fill and i'm going to set this to fill as well the height and the width to fill and then i'm going to turn on layout for this so we'll make this a stack right so the next thing i want to do now is i want to create my card which is what would would have you know um so i'm going to create this individual card right and so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to draw uh, i'm just going to get a column from here and i'm going to draw my column right here all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to first off remove color here and i'm just i'm going to keep this here for now because this is where our image would be so let me rename this to image and then for this part we're going to have our text right so i'll just use our text tool and i'm going to say um, for patients all right i'm going to set the font size to um, 72 and then the font weight to extra bold all right perfect so uh, let me just rename this to content sorry i'll rename this to content so i'm going to turn this to a layout all right the next thing i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to get our um, description text let me just quickly copy this from here I'll copy this content and then i'll come back to this place uh, i'm going to paste this here and then we'll change this to regular font size is 18 and then we're going to make this fill fill container all right so as you can see everything is currently like center align that's because our align on this stack is currently set to center so i'm going to change this to align left right so we're getting there gradually all right so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to set a padding to our card so i'm going to set a padding of 32 set a padding of 32 you know what let me just remove this background color because it's looking a bit weird so I'm going to remove the background color for our column right here. I'm going to rename this to wrapper. All right. So now we have our card here. Uh, I'm going to change the color to something around this. Yep. And then I'm going to make, I'm going to add some corner radius uh, i'm gonna do it 12 for corner radius so for image let me just quickly fill this up with an image i'm gonna use on splash to add an image to this section so for this uh, i'm gonna quickly search for patients and let's see i'm looking for something nice all right, I'm going to go with this. So just going to fill this up with, um, with the image. All right, so currently loading might take a couple of seconds to you know, add that to this section. Uh, what's happening? Okay, let me try this again. Okay, so here we have our image right here. I'm going to give this a corner radius as well corner radius of eight so it's looking nice and then let's let's have some space between this content and this image card 
All right, so I'm going to change this to, let's say, 60. All right, yeah, 60 look, looks good. Uh, yeah, so this is our card. All right, so we're going to be creating a couple more cards, which is, uh, you know, the cards that we have stacked on top of each other, and then um, add a sticky effect to them. So I'm going to call this card. So I'll do a duplicate of this. So we need to change the directions. It's currently um, going in the horizontal direction. So we need to change our stack, which is the wrapper container. We need to change it to direction vertical. And we, we're going to have something like this. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to give this some part, some gap in between. All right, so make it look good. And then I'm going to set our cards to fill. So currently they are set to fix. We don't want that. We want them to fill the entire container. All right, so now we have this. We're not going to give a padding to our wrapper container. So I'm going to set the, the padding to 32. And I'm also going to change the distribute to start so that we don't have this weird space, you know, from the top. Uh, and then let's change the color. Just going to change the color. Um, it's a different one. Something like this. And then let's also change the image. Um, before that, let me just copy the contents here. Um, okay, so I'm going to copy the content here and then I'm going to paste this in here. And then this should be for, for partners, not patients, for partners. And then we're going to change this one instead of the other one. So I'm going to change this to, uh, let's say partners business business partners let's see what we get from this okay okay just looking for a suitable image for this i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with this one because it looks nice all right so let's do a couple more duplicates a couple more cards and then we'll get to the interesting part, the fun part, which is adding the sticky scroll effect. So I'm, I'm going to have um, four more cards, right? So currently our wrapper is set to fill. We need to make this fit contents and also our desktop, change it to fit contents so it doesn't cut off the contents like it did. Uh, let me change the color here changes to this and then adjust this slightly as well change it to, to something around this okay so this is looking good uh i'll come back here as well and then copy some of this content so we have agency and then clinic um so for for clinics clinicians All right, so for clinicians and then for agencies. Okay, so let me change this image as well. I'm just going to search for clinicians. Uh, I'm going to change this to something like this. So the next one, I will change this to another image. So let me just search for startups, see what I can find. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one right here. All right, so, so right now we have all of our images, all right? So next thing, let me just do a quick preview, see what that looks like. Okay, perfect looking really good 
um, I'm gonna select all of our cards, right? I'm gonna set off all of our card and then align to the top because I want our text to align to the top, right? So I'm gonna select the content column and align to distribute to the, to start, all right? Because I want the content to start from the top. All right, so the next thing we're going to do now is to add our sticky effects. So I'm going to select this first one and I'm going to select the position type and I'm going to set it to sticky. All right, so um, something you should note is that sticky, the sticky scroll effect uh, or sticky position usually works when the parent container the top parent container of that um, content you're trying to make sticky is set to um, the overflow is set to visible all right so we're going to have to do that for all the parent parent containers in order for this to work all right so uh, i'm going to set this to sticky and then i'm going to, i'm going to do that for the next one as well position type sticky and then this one to position type sticky then this one position type sticky all right so if we do a quick preview you see that this is not working uh it's currently not working because we still have a couple of things to do which i mentioned earlier which is the sticky uh, the which is the um overflow we need to set the top brands to overflow um, visible all right so i'm going to select the wrapper container and i'm going to change the overflow to visible and then the next one which is the desktop um, canvas i'm going to also set overflow to visible all right and let's do one more preview and see if that's working okay so it's currently working but we still have a couple more tweaks to do right in order for this to come out really really nice so we're going to have to because i want this to stack on top of each other right i want that stacking effect where there's a little bit of space just at the top of the card right so we're going to do something so for any of your sticky contents you see that it has a new property here of top all right so you can actually um change this value um, so this value is the amount of space you want to give to um, your contents your card that you want to make sticky the amount of space you want to give to it above all right so for the first one we're going to do a sticky of 32 because i wanted to give a a gap a space above of 32 pixels so for the next one, we're going to have a, a top of 64. All right, so we have a top of 64. And then the next one would be, so the next one would be a top of 96. 96. And finally, the last one would be a top of 128. So what I'm doing right here, right, why you're seeing these different values is because when we have this one, right, this, this first one here would be sticky. The next one, we want the next one to be sticky, but also have that, you know, little bit of gap just above, you know, this content here. So that is why I'm having like a, a multiple of the first one. So we're just adding the values, right? So the first one was 32. So for the second one, we'd have to add this value like twice, right? And then we have, we have 64. And then the next one will be um, two times of what the, the previous one was, which is, which is 64. So this one, uh, would be 96 and then um, twice of this would be 128 all right so that is that so let's do another preview and see what we have here 
So we see that once this um, this card scrolls to this position, it sticks there and leaves a space of 62 pixels up above. So let's see how the next one works. Yeah, it's working right as we want. So this this is the last card and it's stopping here. So I want this to scroll all the way up. So I'm going to give a... Uh, so obviously you have more content on your website below that, but I'm going to give a... Let me just add a spacing of 800 pixels below so that we see how the last one also works. So let's do another preview. And then when I scroll, it gets to that position and sticks. And then the final one would then, you know, scroll all the way. All right. So one last thing I would like for us to add to this, to just make it look a little bit, you know, nice, would be like some scroll interaction. All right. So um, let me quickly show you guys the other one I made. So if you notice that as we scroll, the one behind gets smaller, all right? So I really like that interaction. So we're going to replicate that here, all right? So let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our current one. And we're going to select the card, all right? So we're selecting the card. So I want to add this to all of the cards. So I'm just going to select all the cards at the same time. And then we come down to effects. Uh, we're going to do scroll animation. And we're going to say on scroll. We want this animation to happen on scroll, right? Sorry. Um, so we want this to scroll transform, sorry. So on scroll, we want to go from from this which is like the default value to this all right so we want to slightly adjust this to i'm going to set this to 0 0.96 so while we are scrolling it's going to go from this size and then shrink a little bit to um 0 0.96 so let's see what that looks like so i'm going to scroll as we scroll we see that the one behind as we're scrolling it's you know shrinking just a little bit all right so i really like that effect it makes it looks like a, you know a, a deck that is stacking on top of each other so yeah that's it guys um i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial um keep an eye out for our next tutorial because we will be you know posting more consistent content here on the channel if you are also here please um give us a subscribe that would you know really help us grow and get more people to see our videos so thank you so much guys and see you guys in the next one peace